What is up, YouTube? Uh, hopefully everything is working for me on this live video today. As you can tell by the title, uh, it should be a pretty interesting discussion. I uh, just got a notification. I guess I got the notification last night at like early in the morning, like four o'clock in the morning that my eBay account was suspended for three days uh, for a Vero violation. So I want to do a live stream today. Just talk about that. Talk about what the item was and uh, what I'm going to do for the next three days and how I'm going to try to avoid this in the future to avoid a seven day suspension. Uh, let me know. Should be should be a couple people in the chat already. Yeah, it's working. Mary McQueen says, hey, Josh. Christopher Miller, Joshua Lou, Flipping Mama Five. What? Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Uh, Nick Pick Thrift, OMG, Elder Mora Thrift, Annie Aldaco Zero, and Sora Bite Hunter, Essential Endeavors. What's up? Uh, yeah, everybody, <laughs> everybody's really concerned. Yeah, I mean it sucks, but it, um, it's not the end of the world. Um, I was thinking, honestly, I should have made like an edited video about it. Hang on, I think Moses is awesome. Okay. Okay. I'll leave. I'll just I'll leave the door open for him. Um. Uh. Where where where, where was I going? Uh, how many days was it? Three day. Three day. Three day suspension. I didn't know until I just started listing stuff, and it was like you have a three day suspension. So uh, it turns out it was one of the not as a surprise to, to some of you guys. It's one of the items I got at Dream Deals. It's the uh, that book like the psychological something book. I've sold like eight of them. Like, I think I bought 10. I have two left and I sold eight over the last like two months, month and a half, two months. Um, and then randomly one of them, like it was just a Vero happened. The companies, I guess they claimed it was a fake book or something, which I don't know. I don't know how they know that, but you know, wh whatever. Um, Let's see. It got a Vero. <laughs> Gorgeous says, I got a Vero and a suspender for three days. It was a vacation for me. Yeah, it's not. They they say that, um, you know, for three days, you can't list any new things and your current listings will be hidden from search. But I got my suspension started at like 4 a.m. And I've already sold like four things today. So I don't really know how accurate that is. Um, but but again, so we're going to sorry, I'm trying to read the chat and then and process everything. My hair looks terrible because I folded my hair back today. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so bad hairspray palette. No, it wasn't anything I found at the thrift store or anything like that. Is that Prince Burke? Prince Burke. What's up, man? I haven't seen you in so long. $5 super chat. Glad to see how you've taken off. I need to get back to making videos. Yeah. It's been a while since I feel like I haven't seen you in like a month and a half or so. Um, prison of profit. I swear mom was suspended for three days while on vacay while on vacay. Yeah. The three day suspension isn't a huge deal. Like you can still like list your items and just save them as drafts, which is what I'm doing. I'm still listing. And then once, it, once the suspension is lifted, I'm just going to act like, like activate all my drafts. So it's not a huge deal, but the biggest thing is, is like, that's a strike. So I think the next Vero, I would get like a seven day suspension. And then the next one would be like a permanent ban or something like that. Um, so it's, it's, it's annoying because obviously I think there needs to be a difference between like knowingly selling like fake or counterfeit products versus, um, you know, they're like, you violated this thing in the past. I'm like the eBay Vero program in general is just garbage. Like, uh, I just, I don't understand what's going on, but, um, was Tesla is correct. What did Tesla say? Your watched items still sell. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll be sending offers to watchers <laughs> over the next three days. A uh, bunch of people asking what happened. I, I've already, my account was suspended for three days because of a book. Um, well, multiple books. I had, I think I had 10 copies and I've sold eight of them and still have two left and it was finally suspended. That's the one thing about the eBay Vero program that I hate is that if something is part of the Vero program, eBay should know that and they should tell you when you're listing it. Like, if I list that book, like scan the barcode, there should be a thing that comes out and say, hey, this is part of the eBay Vero program. You can't list this. Not let me sell eight of them over the course of a month and a half. Totally fine. Nothing wrong at all. And then randomly out of the blue, get a get a Vero. Um, so, yeah, it sucks. But I'm more concerned about the strike on my account that, rather than the actual three-day suspension. You know, like I said, it's not that big of a deal. But um, definitely don't want to get my eBay store <laughs> permanently suspended. Um but again, I really wish there was a way for them to know that it's not like there's a difference between like deliberately trying to sell fake things and just 
nobody can know everything that's on the Vero list. Nobody can know. Like, I, they, I'm guessing they claim the book is fake. I'm like, how how is the book fake? You know, like, what's fake about it? How do you, how do you know? How do I know? How do I know if I find a book in the wild? Like, if I found that book at a thrift store and sold it, how what would I need to look for in that book to decide whether or not it's fake or not? You know, so it's it's interesting, interesting. Uh, get a forced vacation. Yeah, I'm still going to be listening. I'm still going to be making YouTube videos. Um, uh, Bob Buy says, oh, the wall is pretty. Yeah, we painted in here. Um, I've got, I don't want to show everything because I'll probably make a video showing like the whole office tour, but we painted the same colors in our guest bathroom. It's like a, I don't know, like a teal, teal blue green. It doesn't really look the same in the camera as it does in real life, but it's still pretty nice. Uh, almost got a Vero from headphones with the Amazon pallet store. Yeah. You got a Vero for OtterBox. Yeah. Th things like that. You can't sell like OtterBox life proof cases. You should never sell those because they have a team of lawyers that just scour eBay. And honestly, they don't really care if the listing is fake or not. You could go buy some legit OtterBox, a, a legit OtterBox case at Best Buy and list it on eBay. And it's going to be pulled down for Vero within the, within the day, you know, um, cause th they're just super, super hard about that. And those are like, we know that we know about OtterBox and life, proof, life proof cases. We know about the word onesie. You can't sell onesie. You can't sell Velcro. And I get that, but I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really think eBay should suspend you for it, you know, unless they can prove that it's like the same item. Like if you, like if you get a, a warning for Velcro and then you list Velcro again, then maybe you can suspend. And then if you keep doing the same item, then yeah, but like suspending you with a worse and worse punishment every time for a different item. I feel like that's dumb, especially with like big time sellers. Like I, I make eBay a ton of money, you know, like over like between five and 500 and a thousand dollars a month is what I usually pay in, in final value fees. And um, I just don't think suspending accounts is the best way to, to go about that. Uh, but yeah, the Amazon pallet store basically, what I've learned about the Amazon pallet store is that anytime you find something where there's like a bunch of them, like multiple, multiple quantities like that book or headphones or anything like that, I probably just stay away from those because chances are they're fake, which is why they were sent to the Amazon pallet store and begin with in, in the, in the first place. Um, I don't know, like printer ink, like I'm thinking about pulling all, I don't think, I think I have like one or two more of the brother printer inks left, but somebody told me those were probably fake because they were missing like a sticker or something. But I've the same thing with the book. Like I've sold probably 15 or 20 brother uh, toners in the last couple months without issue. I still don't have an issue, but now I'm like, should I just go ahead and pull those listings? Um, just because I don't want to get a, the third strike of Vero, you know? So I just got to be really careful. Like, because like I said, the next Vera I get should be a seven day suspension. And then the next one after that would be a permanent, permanent van. So I guess I should probably start a second eBay store <laughs> just in case. Boycott eBay. That's where it's headed. Like, yeah, I wish, I wish I could talk to an eBay exec. Like, why do you suspend accounts? Like, why don't you just pull listings down? It's uh, like companies just don't want people to sell their products. So just pull down the product and everything's fine. Like, why do you have to punish us? Why do you have to suspend our accounts? Like it again, it's not it's not deliberate. It's not, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not like buying fake Gucci stuff from China and trying to sell it on eBay. That's that, that should be punished. Your account should be banned if you have a history of doing that. But like somebody like me who has, I think I have like 1300 positive feedbacks, no negative feedbacks. I've made eBay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And they're going to suspend my account over a book that they, that the company, the eBay doesn't even care. The company claims it's fake. Uh, how long is the suspension? Three days. Call them and talk with them. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to call eBay and, and talk with them about a suspension, but there's nothing you can do. There's there's sellers with 30,000 positive feedback that sell $50,000 a month and they get Vero's and there's nothing, there's nobody you can talk to to take away the suspension. Electro, one, dollar, one pound, one pound super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, I would not take the ink off because someone said so. I'd wait until you know for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've sold the ink and I've gotten positive feedback. So I don't know. It's just one of those things like 
printer ink in general is a scam. The printer, just the, the whole market and, and corporation behind printer ink is a scam. But like counterfeit ink, if counterfeit ink still works as it should, how would you know? Like the only only way you'd know if it, if it was fake, if it didn't have the little sticker on the box. And what does a sticker do? The sticker, you know, like if someone gets fake ink or third party ink, whatever you want to call it, and it works, who cares other than the company, I guess. But uh, I don't know. We could we could talk about printer ink all day long. Uh, how about that woman that interviewed? Honestly, I think eBay was just trying to. Uh, so what he's talking about I, a couple months ago, I guess right at the start of COVID, uh, I had an eBay executive on my channel and they were doing the whole like, we just want to reach out and let everybody know that what we're doing and and how to how we're supporting sellers at this time. And she was really nice. But obviously it was just like a a marketing ploy. Like they just wanted to put themselves out there and let people see that they're like participating in the reseller community online. Like we hear you, we're here with you. And after that, nothing like I still have her email. I guess I could talk to her, but it was pretty obvious. They were just doing it for, for PR reasons. They didn't actually care about us. Juan Galvan Treasures, $5 super chat. Have to show support. You're one of the most positive resellers around. Your channel is amazing, brother. Thank you so much, Juan. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I use third-party ink all the time. And I have no problems. I also use third-party ink all the time. You can use third-party ink. You can use refilled cartridges. I mean, some of the, I don't know what companies, but some companies like put like chips in their printer ink to like tell the computer that the cartridge is out of ink before it's actually out of ink because they just want you to buy more ink. Printer ink is literally the most expensive liquid in the world for no reason other than all the companies just got together and they're like, hey, you guys want to charge exorbitant prices for printer ink? Just And we all just do it so nobody can say anything? And they're like, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> like it, you can literally buy, you go to Best Buy and you can get like a basic printer like for like college student with printer ink for like 60 bucks. And then when that printer runs out of ink, if you have to buy like HP ink at the store, it's literally more expensive than the printer. They just want you, they just do that. So you just keep buying printers <laughs> instead of buying ink. It's ridiculous. Uh, Josh, uh, here, here's, here's 1670. Josh, our account was suspended for three days based on a false claim by a company out of Australia. I contacted them and they acknowledged the mistake, but they refused to unsuspend the account. Yeah, because uh, eBay doesn't care about you. <laughs> they, they really don't. Uh, eBay, eBay is just a company. Like they do not care about small sellers like that. Even, I mean, even if you sell like 10, $15,000 a month on eBay, they still don't care about you. They're not going to, unless you call and like pitch a fit and want to sit on the phone, talking to customer service for like five or six hours, you're probably not going to get anybody on the phone. That's going to, that's going to do anything for you. That's one thing I've learned about eBay over the last two years of selling. Also, we, we can talk about how eBay is doing this stupid item specific requirements. Again, last year they did all this crap at the very beginning of Q4, the busiest selling time of the year and requiring all of us to update our listings to include themes and characters and all this crap, all this BS. And obviously it was a terrible mistake and they admitted it and like on the public forum, and they're like, we're never going to do this again. And what do you know, 2020 Q4 rolls around and they're doing it again. Yeah, eBay is just terrible. It uh, looks like your eBay account is okay now. I can see all, I can see your account and all your listings. Yeah, if you like go to my store, you can see my listings. But if I have a pair of like Nike shoes listed and somebody's just on eBay searching for Nike shoes, my listings shouldn't come up and search. But if you actually have a link to my store and you go to my store, you can still see all my stuff and, and buy it. They're just not going to um, push it out. Uh, this is a temporary ban. Give, give licks. Uh, Donatello Botolino. Hello. 999 Super Chats. Uh, sorry that happened. Coffee on me. I appreciate it. Can I have Bang instead? I make my coffee at home to be cheaper, but I can't make Bang at home. Why was my account suspended? I've already said it like four times. Dude. Um, just go back. I'll answer. This is the last time I'm going to say it. I sold a book that the publishing company claims was fake. I didn't sell one. I sold eight books, eight copies of this one book. Um, and over the last month and a half. And then I finally got a zero to four of the book. 
Um, that's the problem. They make so much, they don't care. Yeah. You can reach out via email to the company that sells a book and apologize. They may be, um, I don't think even that's what I'm saying. Al Allison, big drift thrift. She says, I can email the company and apologize. See if they'll list the lift, lift the ban, but the company doesn't ban your account. eBay does all the company cares about is just removing the listing, which they did. And eBay goes and the company is not like eBay. I'm going to force you to ban this person's account. Like they don't care. They just don't want the listings down. But eBay does this on their own. Like they just ban people's accounts just for no reason, you know. Um, but e like like somebody said before, even if the company apologizes and admits that maybe it was a veer by mistake, eBay is not going to not going to lift your ban for that. They're like, oh, sorry, I guess that was a false Vero, but just be careful next time. What book was it? Uh, I don't know, it's like American Psycho Psychological Handbook or something. I don't know. Or the book's proven fake. No, they don't tell you what's wrong with the item. They don't. That's the, another bad thing about Vero. They don't say why it was Vero'd. It's just Vero'd. <laughs> like they're like, oh, this is not authentic. They don't have to. They don't have to prove. They don't even have to prove that it's not authentic. Like I said, with like OtterBox and LifeProof case, they claim that the case is not authentic, which is why they Vero you. But you can have a receipt where you bought it from Best Buy, and they don't care. Like it's up. It's up to you to prove that it's basically so this is so much to unpack here any as long as you legally own something like you can sell it like the whole ebay vero program is really illegal what they're doing they're stopping you from being able to resell items that you legally own which is illegal but the the only way they get around this is by claiming that the item is fake and when for a company to claim an item is fake they have no burden of proof on their side it's up to us to prove that it's not fake so I think John Cincinnati Picker, he's talked in the past about, you know, if you email the company and say, take me to court, like, you know, if you want to, if you want to take this to court, that's fine. If you want to like, it'll, th after you do that, ask them to sue you basically, then it would be up to them to prove that the item was fake. Um, but honestly, I'm not, the books were selling for like 30 bucks a piece, you know, um, someone had to report your listing. Uh, I guess, I guess you could, but, um, I mean, it, it came from the company. It's not like it, it says like who who claimed your your Vero and your item, and it was the actual publication company. So it might have been manually like Vero'd, but it was somebody that works for that company. Are there so many suspensions before you get banned? I've had one Vero. Usually, it's like the first one is a warning, the second one is three day suspension, third one is seven day suspension, and I don't know if the fourth one is a thirty day suspension or a permanent ban. I don't know. Um, so do I think it's because I sold too many? I don't know. Maybe. Do you lose the money from the sales? No, they can't take the money from, from the sales. And I was getting positive feedback. Like if the books were fake, what was fake about them? People were getting the books and be like, thanks. Perfect. Love it. Great book. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I just don't understand. Uh, would you recommend traveling from Orlando to shop at the liquidation store you stop shop at? No, honestly, I wouldn't. Pete, guys, it's not. I don't. I think. I think you guys just see like all the good stuff I pull out. But the days where I get a lot of good stuff from Dream Deals, I'm literally in there for like two or three hours, like waiting in line for two hours before that. It's not worth driving from Florida or one guy's from Canada. He's like, I might drive down. I might drive down just to come. I'm like, it's not that good. I mean, it's it's okay. But um, I don't know. There's other stores like there's a bunch in Kentucky, Tennessee. I think there's some in Georgia. Um, it's it's not you're not just going to walk in and find cell phones and Xboxes and stuff all the time. It's a lot of a lot of Chinese junk, you know. Um, they weren't fake to the buyer. Yeah. Let's just start selling on Mercari more so eBay loses money. So they have to care. That would be nice. That would that would be nice. I might list some. I don't know. I have better luck selling on Facebook marketplace than I do Mercari, honestly, especially with shoes. Cause like if I sell a pair of shoes on eBay for like 30 bucks, free shipping, that's like usually the cheapest. I like selling shoes after fees and shipping. I'm only going to make like, gosh, including cost of goods, maybe like 10 bucks. Cause like 30 bucks is going to be like 27 after fees, like maybe like 26 after fees. Cost of goods for shoes are about 650. That's 1950. 
shipping is usually like 10 bucks. So that's, it's like $10 a profit, you know, a little bit more than doubling my money. But if I sell shoes for 30 bucks on Facebook marketplace, that's significantly more profit. And if you take eBay quality photos and post them on Facebook marketplace, you get a pretty good amount of sales. Uh, what do you search on Google? I don't know. All these, everybody asks me, I get emails and, and comments all the time. People say, do you know any of these stores in California or Las Vegas or Florida? I've never even been to California or Las Vegas. Oh, sold something or at least got an offer. Let's see. I sold a build a bear workshop monkey for $18. The Chevy two, uh, the Chevy two, if you're a person in the chat right now, find something from me. I really appreciate that. They bought this, uh, Build a bear workshop monkey for me for eighteen dollars free shipping. It's probably going to cost like five bucks to ship out. I think it's like fourteen ounces, um, and I'm pretty sure I paid like fifty cents for it at Goodwill. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, where what was I talking about? I painted the room already. It looks nice. Yeah, we painted the room. I got my chair sitting up over there. So my table. I'm really, I'm really glad. I'm really happy about my or, or my okay. Sorry, my brain is all over the place. Here's a question. Doki, are your Facebook marketplace buyers local? Um, sometimes, and sometimes they aren't, but uh, usually I just list stuff, list stuff on Facebook marketplace. And if it's under like four pounds, I'll just add shipping on there um, or like list it with shipping and local pickup. Sometimes, mo I don't know percentage wise, like sh I think I've sold like four or five pairs of shoes on Facebook marketplace that end up getting shipped out. And I've sold like four or five that, were local pickup. Um, so I, I don't know, but I really like that Facebook marketplace offers shipping now. That's, that's pretty cool. I think the amount of things I list on Facebook marketplace versus the amount of things I list on eBay, I have a much higher sell through rate on Facebook than I do eBay. So if I listed on Facebook, as much as I listed on eBay, I'd probably sell more items, I guess. Cause there's, a lot of people on Facebook, but not as like Facebook marketplace isn't as saturated with items like eBay is. Uh, Jarhead entrepreneur um, from eBay Vero page. Can eBay verify my item? No, eBay isn't an expert in intellectual property rights of third parties. Yeah, eBay literally doesn't care. eBay just gets reports from companies like a company is just like, hey, eBay, we don't like this item, take it down. And eBay says, you got it. We don't care how many positive feedbacks this seller has. We don't care what kind of history this seller has on eBay. This guy could have been selling eBay for 10 years, but because this random company in Australia or whatever wants us to remove his item and suspend his account for three days, we got you. Sounds good. And then if the buyer's like, no, this item's this item's legit. I can prove it. eBay's like, I don't, we have, nope, we don't care. We can't authenticate anything. Take it up with the company. And then you take it up with the company and then you authenticate it and prove it. And then the company's like, oh yeah, it shouldn't have been vered in the or suspended or vered in the first place. And eBay's like, well, it's already been suspended for three days, so just be careful next time. <laughs> like it's just, oh, it's so frustrating. Uh, eBay doesn't realize that without sellers, there'd be no buyers. Uh, so why not side with the sellers more often? At least ones that have good rating and have good standing as being a seller. Yeah, I get it. Like. I don't know. I, I try to, in any situation in life, I try to see it from both sides of the equation. So like, yeah, if there were no sellers, there'd be no buyers, but also buyers, buyers are where every dollar comes from. Like, like, yeah, sellers, we pay fees, but the fees come out of the money that the buyer. So if, if people aren't buying on eBay, it doesn't matter how many sellers there are. eBay's not going to make any money unless you're like auctioning off stuff and paying like reserve fees or something. Can you guys hear and see me okay? My uh, my live feed over here was buffering for a second. Um, I just realized there's 879 people <laughs> watching this right now. Jeez Louise, on a 12, 12, 29 lunchtime on a random, what's today, Tuesday? That's crazy. Uh, I'm using StreamYard up there in the corner. Powered by StreamYard, the duck, duck guy. Um, so yeah, it works both ways, but, um, I don't know. I understand that eBay wants to value sellers because the only way eBay can grow is to have more people coming onto eBay to buy. And when you have companies like Amazon that, I mean, you can buy pretty much anything on Amazon and get it within two days. Like eBay doesn't 
can't compete with Amazon on the speed. And in order, they can't really compete on price either. It's really up to us as sellers to compete on price. Um, so I get it that they have to like lean towards the buyers a little bit. But again, you, you need to look at the, the, the history. If you've got a seller that's been selling eBay for three or four years without any issues at all, and you have a buyer come along with zero positive feedback and that buyer claims that they're getting scammed, eBay shouldn't, shouldn't side with them. You know, like obviously you got to look at the, the history here. I don't know. I think it's much easier to be scan, scammed as a seller on eBay than it is a buyer. I have people all the time, like older people that I know, and they're like, I found something on eBay and I don't know if it's legit. I'm like, well, I mean, look at the seller history. Like if the seller has, you know, 300 positive feedback with no negative feedback. And like my friend Sean wanted to buy a cell phone. And uh, usually I tell people that it's legit. Like even if you buy something that's not legit, you can just return it. Even if there's no returns, just if it's not as described, if it's actually not as described, eBay will still give you your money back. Um, but this guy, he, it was like an iPhone 10 or something. And it was listed for like 300 bucks and no pictures at all. Just like a stock image of an iPhone. And the guy had no positive feed, no feedback at all, like positive or negative. And so it was just like huge red flags. You know, I was like, yeah, you maybe not want to do that. Um, but for the most part, you can buy whatever you want on eBay. And if it's not right, always get your money back, even if there's no returns. Uh, as an owner, as an owner of a product, it kills me to see knockoffs that sell weight cheaper than mine because I'm still trying to make back all the money for the patent and for the product development. Um, yeah. So if, if, if you, so if, if you invented something and you're trying to sell it on eBay as like an authorized retailer and people are like, and you know that you are the only person that can develop this product, like you own the patent and all that stuff and you have other people that are trying to sell that product, then yeah, you can Vero them because obviously that's not a fake product. Obviously, you know, if it's some easy to make product, they could have seen it, sent the picture to a manufacturer in China. They could have manufactured it and sent it to them and now they're selling it on eBay. So that's a clearly a, clearly a patent violation. You know, if, if you are the owner of a product and inventor, you can prove that you are the only person who has legally obtained copies of that product to sell, then everybody else is selling it that's not you is, is you know, violating your, your rights, your intellectual property, which is what the Vero program is for. But the companies like Otterbox and LifeProof case, and when you, you know, they're just trying to Vero everybody for selling stuff. I'm like, no, you can, you can buy that. You could buy stuff on clearance at stores. You know, once you start selling stuff in, in retail stores, then your eBay, your, your rights to Vero other people on eBay, those should be very limited because how can you prove that somebody didn't buy your item on the clearance shelf of some retail store and then they're trying to sell it on eBay? They legally obtained an, uh, you know, an authentic copy of your product and now they're selling it. You can't stop them from that because they legally obtained the product and they're just trying to sell it on an online platform. That's that your case is, is different. You know, if somebody is like, you know, like I said, if you're the only person that can obtain authentic versions of your item, uh, then, then yeah. Uh, what's my second option if they close my account? I'd probably just open another account and pay a, a VA to like transfer all my listings to the new account. It would be annoying, but um, that's that's also important to have multiple streams of income. Like I'm not gonna, it's an annoyance. It's not. I mean, I might it might take a week, you know, to get all my new listings over to the new account. But um, a huge benefit with YouTube is I can let all sixty three thousand of my subscribers know, like, hey guys, my old account got suspended permanently. I moved all the listings to this new account, this new username is linked in the description. And please just go like, look at my items, like just watch them, not watch them. Cause that's annoying when it's not, but it, view my items. So, um, you know, they get, get more organic traffic and like, and stuff like that. So it's, it's not a, um, it's not a huge deal, but I obviously don't, I'd lose all my feedback, all my 1300, 1300 and something positive feedback, which is probably the worst part. Sold, uh, sold some, I sold two things. I sold some, oh, Allison Arn, Arnett, Arn, a big drift drift. Allison bought some motorcycle gloves for me for $14 free shipping. Allison, thank you so much. I'll get these shipped out. And then I sold, ooh, I got an offer. Offer, 
on this cheetah blanket. I've had this cheetah blanket listed for like six months. I think I got it at the bins. I probably paid like three bucks for it. Had it listed for $40 plus shipping and somebody sent me an offer of $30 plus shipping. So I'm definitely going to accept that. I'm not going to... I'm not going to beg. I'm, what would you guys do? Like, even, even if my account wasn't suspended, I probably wouldn't have countered that. Like something that's been listed for six months and somebody's offering me 75% of the listing price. I'm just going to, I'm just going to accept. I'm not going to bother with a counter offer. Um, Jessica, do you want my email address? Harry tornado at gmail.com. See cottage something wanting to get my attention. The chat just loaded. So I'm so sorry. I uh, see cottage. I'll, I'll, you have my, you have my attention. Um, they buy books looking for fakes, big counterfeit market on textbooks. Yeah. I, I imagine there is, I just wish I knew what to look for. Like, don't just tell me my book is counterfeit. Like say it's counterfeit because it's missing this or because it has this. So I know if I find another copy of that book in the future, I know whether or not to sell it or not. Cause now I'm just not going to sell that book anymore. What if I go back to dream deals and I find 200 of them? How would I, how, how would I, how would I know if they're real or not? If they're real and I can buy them for $6 a piece and sell them for 30 to $35 a piece. Then yeah. But if they're fake, then I'm not going to do that. Lewis, I, I'm not going to keep explaining, explain, explaining it. Just uh, go back and start the, start the live stream again after we're done. And I talk about it within the first like 30 seconds eBay isn't big on educating us, which is sad. Yeah, they just want our money. <laughs> they don't They don't care. Can you sell it as pre-owned? Um, I doubt it. I'm not going to sell it at all anymore. Am I satisfied with my phone? Yeah, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The only thing is, like, if my hands are wet, it doesn't, like, register my typing. And sometimes my hands are wet, like, after I wash my hands or after a shower or, like, if I'm sweaty like if I'm a sweaty, it's so annoying. So I have to like keep wiping my screen and wiping my hands off to type. And that's, that's the worst thing about it. But, um, but other than that, it's great. Oh, and I sold two PS2 memory cards to Michael Conroy. Michael, I don't know if you're in the chat, but thanks for buying these two PS2 memory cards for $14 free shipping. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, three days will go, go quickly. Yeah, it's fine. I still need to like redecorate my office and stuff. Um, I got a few things. I got three of these since we painted the office, like such a dark color. I got these three big white poster board things to hang up on the wall over here. I'm probably not going to hang the guitars back up, uh, but I don't know what to put in them. I thought about some black and white pictures of Moe's or something like that, but I don't know. But over there is looking pretty good. I, I altered my shipping table. It's really cool. I really like it. Uh, your positive outlook is contagious. Thanks, bro. Yeah. I mean, there's no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to fight it. You said three day suspension just find something else to do. Keep listing. Um, just save everything in, in drafts and, uh, you should be good to go. Yeah. 966 people, 900 guys, if we get a thousand people watching a live stream at in the middle of a day on a Tuesday, that's just insane. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Cheapest way to ship video games in a paper sleeve. Uh, are you talking about video games that that don't have a case? Because I probably wouldn't ship video games if they don't have a case. Um, I went to the Goodwill bins a couple months ago and I found a huge box of like basically empty DVD cases, like just cases with no DVDs inside and no thing on the outside, just like black. And I bought all of them because anytime I find a video game that doesn't have a case, I put it in one of those to ship it out. Um, especially if it's like a good game, like a 30 or $40 game for sure. Um, 993, are we going to 996 before people away? That's crazy. Are we going to get there? Oh, we can't, we can't get, we can't. Oh no, we're down to 990. I guess, uh, I guess the title, the title got you guys to click 990. I don't know if we're going to get to a thousand or not. Only 226 thumbs up though. What's that's like less than 25% or about 25% um, like ratio. Baseball bat resale tips. 
I don't know. People ask me for tips on bats and golf clubs and stuff. And honestly, you just look up the like baseball bats are easier than golf clubs because baseball bats have the model numbers written on there. Baseball bats, you just find one, type in the brand and the model number and the weight and length. The weight, the length should be, I think the, the length is the length. No, the weight. Weight in ounces is usually printed on the butt of the bat, like the part that under your hand. Um, and then the uh, the length should be written on there. So I don't know. Just look it up that way. And then the golf gloves are a little bit more difficult. You kind of have to, I've played golf since I was like four years old. So I have a pretty good understanding of like different brands. Some brands are good, but you also have to know like about the age. Like Titleist is a really good brand of golf gloves, but they've been around for like years and years and years. So like a 20 year old set of Titleist clubs may be worth like 20 bucks for a whole set. Whereas a five-year-old set of golf clubs may be worth 300 bucks. Over a thousand people. This is nuts. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I, I am honored. Thank you guys so much. Do live chat sales. What can I sell? I thought about that. Honestly, I need to clear out my, my death pile. I don't have anything to sell. I do have this thing. It's called a cap gun. It's for opening bottles. So you like, you pull this back and then you like open a beer bottle and the cap stays in there because it's a magnet. And then you can, Mose did not like that. And then you can shoot it across the room. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I might do live sales one time. That's interesting. Maybe like a charitable auction or something. Do I have a video on golf clubs? No. It's There's so much like, honestly, to learn golf clubs would probably take like a week of, of like just research on your own because the they don't have model numbers on there. Like you have to know, again, you have to know the brands and also the age and like the different types, like whether they're if you're looking at a set of irons that could be blade irons or like cavity back irons or, you know, there's just, there's so much that go into golf clubs, you know, with ping, ping is a good brand. And then you have, you know, if you found a set of irons, maybe they're black dot or green dot or blue dot. And it's just, it's so much, it's so much to, to, to go through. Amy K $5 super chat, 1k viewers. Amy K, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's what I call an active community. Yeah. <laughs> that's especially cause it's not like a Saturday night or something or a Friday night. Like this is a random Tuesday in the middle of the day. So the fact that so many people are here, uh, I'm, I'm honored for sure. Hers 1670 499 super chat. That's, I think that's the second one. Didn't you send one earlier? Thank you. <sighs> ECAP recap eBay suspension for the fifth time. Just in case you're new here, my eBay account was suspended for three days because I sold a textbook, sold eight of the same textbooks and the company, the publishing company claimed that they were fake. That's what happened. Now hit the like button. I appreciate it. Uh, I sold a PFG hat. How does someone fake a book anyways? Don't ask me. I don't know. I got, I'm pretty sure I got positive feedback on every single one of the books that actually sold. So who, who knows? How do you ship a set of irons, not singles? Um, honestly, if it's a small enough set, you could probably just wrap them together like with a zip tie or something and ship them in a medium mailing tube from USPS. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you can fit a whole set of irons in there like that. Were they truly fake? I have no idea. That's what's frustrating. They don't tell you why they're fake. They just say they're fake. If you're suspended, can you still make sales? Yes. Uh, Tracy... Congardi, $5 super chat. I wonder, I worry that this will happen to me unknowingly selling something Vero. Everybody I know that has, has had a Vero has had it unknowingly. Like, I don't know anybody that's going to list something like, like I would never list an OtterBox because I know that's going to be Vero. I would never list something with Velcro or onesie in it because I know that's going to be Vero. Nobody wants a Vero. Everybody, everybody I've ever heard of getting a Vero has always been like, oh, dang. It's either like, unknowingly, like I didn't know that was part of Vero or like an accident. Like, you know, I listed something like sell similar and somebody put Velcro in the title and I forgot to take it out or something. And they got a Vero for that. It's never been like, well, I know this is on Vero, but I'm just going to list and hope they don't catch me. Like I don't, a Vero is pretty serious. I would never do it on purpose. Like trying to, to, you know, see if it could make it past. The best thing is to try and get them to prove they are not fake. Yeah. But they don't have to do that. 
unless unless you want them to take you to court, which is not a big deal. It's a textbook and whatever. That's the thing. Like if it, if you think it's fake, companies should just email me and say, hey, do you have proof that this is real? If not, we'd need to ask you to take this listing down. And I'm like, oh, I don't have proof it's real. I just bought it. I don't know anything about this. I'm sorry. I'll take down the listing. Why can't it be like that? Why do we have to be suspended? Uh, were these books that you got at Dream Deals? Yes. Yes, they were. Noah Crook, $2 Super Chat. Greenville, South Carolina, coming to Dream Deals this weekend. Be careful. A lot of good stuff there, but be careful. I probably wouldn't mess with printer ink anymore or uh, water filters. Um, I haven't had any Vero issues on those, but those are like two, two categories of items that are pretty well known to be part of the Vero program. Um, so I don't, just for me, I'm not going to, I'm going to be very, very careful with what I buy at Dream Deals from now on. It's a great place to get stuff to, for your personal use. You know, if it's personal use, it's who cares if it's fake, as long as it works. Unfortunately, you can't claim ignorance. Yeah, but you also can't learn everything about everything, you know, like you can't, you can't know every category. Like I know every textbook in the world and I can tell you exactly if that one is fake or not. Like nobody can know that. Again, I just wish that if, if a company claims something is fake, they should tell me why. Like that printer ink is fake because it doesn't have a holographic sticker on the box. I Okay, great. I'll look for that from now on. If I find it in the future and it doesn't have the sticker, I won't buy it. That textbook is fake because the ISBN number should end in a nine and that one ends in an eight. Okay, great. I'll check the ISBN number now. And if it ends in a nine, I won't buy it. But just the fact that they could just claim a Vero for, for no reason is, uh, it's just annoying. So I bought some coffee and a support your friends poster and a jacket <laughs> and the rug. They, they paid for the rug already. I'm assuming this is you guys buy, <laughs> buying all this stuff. So I really appreciate it. Hollywood reseller. Celestino Chora uh, bought a windbreaker for me. Uh, Hollywood reseller. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I know I say that every time. I just don't know of a, of a more clever way to, to put it. And then somebody bought a uh, Bella's underscore finds one bought my, one of my support your friends, motivational posters. Thank you so much. And then two, uh one stop for all you need and more. That was their eBay buyer name, bought some coffee from me. So if you're in the chat, thank you so much. Blood, sweat, and sellers. Leroy, what's up, man? $2 super chat. Hi, Josh. Hi, everyone. Leroy, thank you so much. 1,059 people in the chat. This is, this is nuts. Do I ever do auctions? No, I don't. Not really. Very, very rarely. By the way, I actually called about a suspension before. Roman Land said that. Uh, what, what, what happened? I'm assuming they just said, tough tooties, get over yourself. That's what eBay likes to say. I sell lots of coffee mugs. Hopefully they aren't fake. Seriously. I, I don't think I've ever heard of a Vero on a coffee mug, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. If you're not sure, don't list it. Err on the side of caution. Yeah, that's probably good. But you know, when I was at dream deals and I found those 10 books, and I scanned them and there were sold comps on eBay of like 30, 35 bucks a piece. I'm like, Okay, this is like hundred and like almost two hundred dollars in profit here. Actually, more than that. Um, so I'm like, ah, let's see what happens. I listed one, it sold, everything was fine, and I sold another and another and another and another and another and another and another. Everything was fine, positive feedback. I thought I was in the clear. Then bam. Uh, start selling on Mercari more. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, that's why I never personally buy shoes off eBay. Too worried about fakes, only goat or stock X. Um, I guess, yeah. I mean, if you're buying like really high dollar shoes that you can get for basically the same price, I guess it'd be better to buy on goat or stock X. I want to say I saw something recently where eBay was verifying shoes. I think there was a thing where you could like send it to eBay and they would verify it. I think. Am I just making that up? Did I dream that? eBay really wants to get on the used shoe market, which is why they took away final value fees for sellers. So people could get a more, um, you know, competitive price. So uh, what's, uh, what's that? The Houston reseller, 199 Super Chat. The auctions are fun. I love the new color, Josh. Thank you so much. I like it. It's moody, moody in here. 
Josh, keep the cash flowing. Sorry about eBay's BS policies. Have a good rest of the day. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about YouTube is that even though I basically took like a week off from YouTube last week, um, I still made money every single day. So it's it's really nice to have that as a as a backup. And I already have like 10 things to ship out tomorrow. So I'm not that worried about it. Again, it's not like the suspension isn't what bothers me. It's the fact that I don't know why they were Vero'd. Like I don't have... I didn't learn anything other than I'm just not going to sell that book anymore. And I'm closer to having my account permanently suspended. Like, obviously I don't want that to happen. I have 1300 positive feedback that I can't transfer. Um, so I don't know. Jackson games, the crazy gamer. Can you please shout out mother cow cow nuts? It would make my day. Shout out mother cow cow nuts. Spooky girl here. If anything could be fake, not listing anything you're unsure about leaves pretty much nothing to sell. Yeah. I mean, I don't, it, you know, there's no way of winning. Like, I don't know. Does it work? It, who, I don't know. Yeah, printer ink. Is it fake? I don't know. Does it work? Yeah. Then who cares? It's all something else. This is, this is such a fun, fun day. I know there's an offer. Somebody sent me an offer. Uh, I have two new offers. Okay, one new offer of a Boston Red Sox hat. Let's see. Uh, we we resell everything. That's a pretty good eBay name. Uh, send me an offer of ten dollars on this hat. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a counter offer of nine dollars, just because I feel I feel guilty about all the support. <laughs> so, <laughs> counter offer nine dollars. Accept that. Uh, and then somebody sent me an offer of a Kahlua coffee mug. We resell everything. They said, okay, I'm going to make a counter. They offer me $7. I'm going to counter back at five. I'll give you $3 off what you offered me. Because honestly, that Kahlua coffee mug has been listed in my store for quite a while. Quite a while. Okay. Um, I shouldn't do this on the phone with it for an over hour. Pretty sure eBay just started verification on shoes. Yeah, I think it's only shoes. Like if you have a pair of shoes, you can send it to them. They'll authenticate it. And then I don't know if it's after you sell it or what. But, uh, but yeah, Houston. Okay, did that. Would it help to always list things from Amazon Pallet Store as pre-owned? No, because you can get Vero's on pre-owned items as well. Um, so there's... How do you make your notifi notification to Ching on an offer? I have no idea. I, I, it might be in settings. I'm I'm not sure. As long as my as long as my phone is like on loud, it cha chings for offers and and selling. I feel guilty about all this support is the most Josh thing you could say right now. I really do. Like I enjoy doing live streams, um, but you know stuff like this. It just over 1,100 people watching and you guys buying stuff like. I don't deserve it. <laughs> will this will this be a video so I can go back and watch it? Yeah, it'll be on my channel. You can watch it. I will not take it down. If you're suspended and make a sale, do you have one day handling time? How do you handle the situation with telling the buyer that you're suspended? Uh, you can still ship out. You can still sell stuff and ship out. The only thing with suspended, you can't list new items and you can't your items don't show up in search. So if people buy stuff, you can still ship out and, and everything. It'll let you do that. You just can't list or, um, you, and your items won't show up in search. In a way you have, you really have nothing to stress about because you have a big following, but it's the people without a YouTube channel that really get screwed. Yeah, for sure. Which is why I want to use my platform here to push this out there. eBay, if, if somebody works at eBay is watching this video right now, you guys kind of suck. Like, <laughs> First of all, the Vero thing just sucks in general. I get it that you have these other companies that you have to please, you know, if they claim that people are selling fake stuff, but you should also support sellers. Some, you know, especially sellers that have a large history of a very positive selling experience on your platform. Um, second of all, the whole item specific things you're requiring the right at the beginning of Q4, stop it. Whose idea is that? That's the same idiot who had that idea last year. Stop it. I don't need I, the whole if I'm selling a shirt on eBay, I should have a picture of the shirt and the size and maybe the material. I guess the measurements too, if you want the measurements, but I don't need the theme. I don't need the character. 
I don't need I don't need to know the, you know what percent if this is a poly cotton blend what percentage cotton and what percentage polyester and all this stuff. like nobody needs to know that that's why so many people are starting selling Poshmark and Mercari because Poshmark picture like four or five lines of information and bam you're done like you I don't understand why you guys are requiring so much information I'm so glad that I don't have a ton of clothes listed right now because clothes are the clothes and shoes are the ones that are in in my experience are the ones that have most of the the new item specifics that are required but like golly just stop it just stop nobody cares about that all those categories that's what pictures are for yeah <laughs> it's, it's just pictures what is a good platform for high fashion i don't know i have extremely low fashion i stole this shirt from salvation army fun fact I, I guess I did technically steal this shirt from Salvation Army, but I didn't mean to. It was right after uh, we were required to wear masks in our in our city. And I, I went in the Salvation Army and I didn't have a mask. Like I didn't have one. And I was like, do you guys have one? And they're like, no, because they didn't really care. So I just grabbed a shirt off the rack and wrapped it around my head. And I was like, I'll just pay for it later. And I totally forgot. I just walked out with it. So next time I go to Salvation Army, I, I believe all their t-shirts are a dollar. So I'll just... I round up my change every time. So I'm sure I've paid for it over the course of over the course of like the years I've been going there. But uh Roman Lance, Salvation Army sucks, Goodwill is better. What are you talking about, man? Salvation Army is way better. Salvation Army actually helps people. Um yes, yes. nobody looks at what is the listing. Most people look at the picks, then buy. Yeah. Nobody looks at nobody looks at the listing anyway. The people barely look at the title and and pictures. <laughs> For example, if you're selling a pair of pants, it makes you put in a type, which is pants. What type of pants are these pants? Are these pants? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, so somebody bought a Wilton Sugar Skull cake pan, which I really appreciate because I picked that up at Salvation Army the other day, and I was like, that's definitely going to sell really quickly because of Halloween, and it hadn't sold yet. This sold for $20 free shipping to Tracy Congardi. I recognize her name. She was in the chat earlier. Tracy, thank you. I appreciate that. And the next, gosh, I have so much to ship tomorrow now. <laughs> Uh, and somebody bought a two pack of lockjaw barbell clamps, Olympic size barbell clamps. Somebody bought two of those. No, just one, one. Okay. Uh, Spencer Hirsch, Hirschfeld, Spencer. Thank you. I appreciate that sale. That's another thing. I found like five of those four, maybe four. I think I have four of those that I found at dream deals. And that's like, are those fake? I don't know. They're barbell clamps. Do they clamp the barbell? Do they work? I don't know. It's, it's again, there just needs to be a difference between like deliberately trying to scam the company that owns the rights to that product and legally selling something that you bought legally, you know, <sighs> it's frustrating. Uh, Jennifer Frederick, $5 super chat. I've been hit with two Vero warnings. One of the warnings was after the item was delivered. Yes. Yeah, so I've, I've seen some people get Vero's like a month after the item was sold. Like, I guess the companies just go back through the sold listings and stuff, which maybe may like you can like hide your sold listings. Like I think rally roots do that and hustle at home. Mom hides, hides her sold listings. Um, that might be, that might be something you should look into if you want to avoid Vero's on sold products, but then people on YouTube are going to claim your sales are fake. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. Um, so those, we listed $200,000 in liquidation on eBay, got shut down forever. Yeah, probably people always ask me like, why don't you just buy buy the Amazon pallets for yourself and just list everything? I'm like, most of the stuff on those Amazon pallets are gonna be either fake or something that's gonna get you suspended. Um, you just gotta go through and deal with it. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so I sold some HP genuine, genuine HP ink. Honestly, I don't, I don't know if it's, it, it was an HP box. It looks genuine to me. 
I don't think these small packs of HB have like any holographic stickers or anything. It's just like that. That sold for $18 free shipping to Matheny. Matheny from Easton Rapids, Missouri. Thank you so much. And something. Oh, that key, that keychain thing sold. I got that in a Goodwill palette. It sold to Bethany Boris. She bought this like fall themed keychain bracelet thing. Bethany, thank you. And then somebody bought <laughs> this is nuts, man. Uh Danda Treasures. Danda Treasures bought some Hallmark Christmas cards. 16 cards for $16 free shipping. That was a dream deal spot. Hope they're not fake cards. They could be fake Christmas cards. You know how people, how often people um, fake Hallmark Christmas cards. Uh, let me go through here. Is there not a listing for your posters in your store? There should be, unless, unless that was the last one I had. Haley just texted me and she said, gosh, you are selling so much right now. <laughs> she has no idea. Woo. Uh, watch my live stream over 1K peeps in the house. Gosh, see, now my hands are sweaty, so my phone's not typing right. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there should be. So with my posters, I think I reordered some, but I might not have changed the quantity. I think I have like 10 left, but it, it might be, uh, it might be out of stock at the moment. Um, Hippolito Madero says that eBay 10% fee sucks. I don't think so. I think, I think the 10%, well, actually I'm on man, managed payments now. So most of my items I'm paying, I don't pay the 3% PayPal fee anymore. So my eBay, that's another thing about eBay. I don't know why the, the final value fee is different on different categories. Like I think books, it's like 18% now, but like heavy machinery, it's like 4%. So I don't understand, but I'm pretty sure most items are, it's either 12.45% or 12.55%. I think something like that. This is, uh, so I, I don't, I don't think the fee is outrageous. I mean, Mercari is going to, you pay more in Mercari. Mercari is now 10% plus Mercari is now what eBay was 10% plus 2.9% plus 35 or 30 cents per transaction or something. Um, Poshmark is 20%. Um, even Facebook marketplace is 5%. So, I mean, a 10% or 12% fee is not bad at all. The, the, I don't mind paying eBay for their fee. I just wish they didn't treat me like garbage. <laughs> That's all I ask Just just support me. When things like this happen, just just look and see that I've sold thousands of items over the last two years without any issues. And anytime there is an issue, like somebody bought, I don't know, something for me the other day, and it was it was not actually it was like a month ago they bought something and it hadn't it hadn't arrived yet. USPS just says it's in transit, but I shipped it like September eighteenth, and it's going to like North Carolina. So I just refunded them. I'm like, you know, if it shows up, you can just keep it. If not, sorry, you know, I shipped it out on September eighteenth. Who knows what's going to happen? Like they should look at that and see that I'm a good business owner. Like I care about my customers. I'm not a, well, you know, a guy trying to scam everybody, but they don't care about that. They just, nope, suspend. We'll just suspend you for no reason. How many items do I have listed? I don't know, like 420 or something. Probably less now that you guys bought everything. <laughs> this is, I have 18 eBay notifications. Harry Tornado support your friend's t-shirt sold. A support your friend's coffee mug sold. Another t-shirt sold. Some hemp gummies sold. This is, oh man. You guys are the best for sure. Um, what is my eBay store link? I guess I should link that. No, I don't. I'm not going to link it. Because that would just make it easier for you to buy stuff. I don't. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not asking for you for the sales. I definitely appreciate it, but please don't feel like you have to buy stuff for me. Chick Rocker 77, just sent a $3 thumbs up pair. Chick Rocker, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. She's the one that bought that big metal clothespin for me that I found in a, in a Goodwill palette. Do I sell anything on Amazon? Not really. 
I have a, I have an FBA account and I've sold probably like 40 things on there my whole career selling on Amazon. And I just don't really like it very much. Um, 600, you're going to run out of, <laughs> you're going to run out of shipping supplies with all these sales. Yeah, I might, I'm already out of uh, eight by six by four boxes. Um, eBay needs to watch this and see the support you have. It's, it is, it is what I don't like about eBay that they don't have our back. They really, they really should. eBay, if you're here, I know you're here silently watching. I'm a good seller. <laughs> please, please don't suspend me. Uh, you're going to be busy packing all day long after this live. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Jennifer Frederick, now everyone uses Josh's Amazon link to get your prom day deals. It is prom day. I totally forgot about that. My sister-in-law texted me today and she's like, Hey, it's prom day. What do you want for Christmas? And I was like, I don't, I mean, I'm 30, almost 30 years old. Like if I want something, I just go buy it. You know, like Christmas is just, I don't know. I don't like the whole commercial holiday where you're like obligated to get cheap gifts for people. So I told her I wanted a 24 pack of Perrier water. And I sent her the Amazon link for it. It was like $24. Cause it's like a dollar a bottle. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like I'm going to open it up on Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, whenever you do it. And I'm going to pop one of those bad boys open and, and get to drinking. I love Perrier, but they're so expensive. Uh, Irish guy, $2 super chat, please link store. I want to buy a shirt. <sighs> Guys, I'll link my store, but again, please do not feel obligated to, to buy anything. Also, full disclosure, my shirts and my coffee mugs, all my support your friend stuff are print on demand. So if you buy it, it the company Printful will print that item and send it to you. And you usually will get it like in a week and a half. So it's not going to be something that I have here that I'm going to be able to ship out today. So just know, and they'll, they'll tell you, I think it's hooked to my eBay store to get like a seven or 10 day handling time. Um, but again, I'm just linking it because some people want me to please do not feel obligated to buy stuff. I'm not, I I'm very, very blessed. My, my eBay sales, my total sales for today is $498 and 56 cents, which is the highest sales day I've had uh, in like the last 30 days. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, okay. Seller hub visit store. Um, copy and paste. Okay. Irish guy, you can go buy a shirt now. Uh, did you talk to eBay for business on Facebook? No, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not going to, I'm not going to waste my time with it. It's because I'm 99% sure that the person I talked to is not going to be able to do anything. And then if I want to sit on the phone and like, argue with them and go back and forth and speak to their manager and all that stuff. I, I really don't think anything is going to happen. So I'm just going to keep listing stuff, make more YouTube videos. And, you know, after my three day suspension, I'll just list all my drafts. I already have like 35 drafts saved uh, from over the last couple of weeks or so. So we'll see today's Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Friday, I'm probably going to list like a hundred things, <laughs> probably something like that. Um, how much time on average would you say you spend listing? Honestly, not that much. The last like three or four weeks, I have not been listing a ton. Um, my lister comes every Thursday and she lists like drafts a lot of stuff. And then I list activate the listings whenever I have free time. Um, but yeah, Jennifer, Jennifer, I'm so sorry, but I have no idea how to pronounce your name and I don't want to butcher it. So she says, how do you ship baseball bats? I just ship them in medium mailing tubes from USPS. You can get them shipped directly to your door, totally for free by the USPS. Rally Roots in chat. Hi, Ryan. Rally Roots is here. Uh, did I miss them? I don't. I don't see them. I do not. I do not. I do not see. I don't see rally roots, but another eBay superstars here, Commonwealth Picker. What's up, man? My lister is married to me. <laughs> I uh, I keep telling Haley, I was like, when are you gonna quit quit your job and start working with me? And she's like, but I'd have to I'd have to list. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you probably would. DJ Destiny, how do you ship dumbbell weights? 
I sold the the 30 pound one that I picked up in my last video sold this morning uh, for $55 free shipping. It'll probably fit in a large, I don't think it'll fit in a medium flat rate box, but it'll probably fit in a large flat rate box and it'll ship for like 18 bucks, like 18.55 or something. Um, so pretty good. I paid 2.99 for it, sold for $59, 18 bucks in shipping, pretty good profit on that. That bang energy stuff is really bad for you. Uh, my wife quit her job to list on eBay. That's awesome. Congratulations to her. Solo gigs are getting harder and harder nowadays. Yeah. I don't mind doing the work, but it is kind of lonely. Like if I didn't have Moe's here, like, I don't know what I'd do. Moe's? Moe's, come here. Moe's, wake up. Here he is. He's coming. I hear his paws. Uh, do you buy... Do you buy from any of the sellers? I don't know what that means. Hey, sorry if you were sleeping. I just missed you and I wanted to pet you a little bit. Look at that. That's a happy dog right there. Check your phone, bro. Uh, oh Gosh, okay. I sold the throw throw burrito game. I sold uh, a Build-A-Bear penguin. Okay, the Build-A-Bear penguin sold to... Stealth JP, Stealth JP, thank you so much. The burrito game sold to Co Cochleolec Family Funds, Co Cochleolec. I'm so sorry, I can't, I can't pronounce that. Uh, the burrito game sold for twenty eight bucks, free shipping. The uh, oh yeah, Mo's left. Um, a New York Giants NFL windbreaker that's been listed for like over a year. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, that sold to Thomas P. O. Connor Jr. Thomas, thank you. I appreciate that. Respond to offer on a Tune Squad, my, my Looney Tunes tank top. That's been listed for a while. I listed it for 25 bucks plus shipping, which is way too much. Somebody sent me an offer of 15. I'm going to counter at 13. <laughs> it's really fun counter offering at lower prices. Uh, the burrito game was me. It was on Christmas lift. Chocolic, chocolate. Amy K. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Let me know how fun that game is. I thought about keeping it for myself, but, uh, Hey, I told Haley to watch the account. She said, wait, what happened? Suspended. I'm watching. He, he, Hey Haley. I love you. Hope you're having a good day at work. Um, Haley, I'll text you back after the live stream. There's uh, 1177 people here. Uh, did you get your mold issue resolved? Yep. Everything's cleared up. Uh, I, I don't, um, I don't use it as much. Like I used in this, when it was really hot outside, I would empty it out like every day, but now I like, I probably empty like every three days or so just to keep, like I also set the humidity level higher. Like when I first did it, I turned it all the way down to like 30, which is the lowest it would go. And now I just keep it around like 50. So it doesn't run all the time. Um, paste. There's the link to the store again. If you guys would like to buy, please do not feel obligated. Please don't. Please, please spend your money elsewhere. Um, how do you get unrestricted selling DVDs and music CDs merchant fulfilled on Amazon? I am not the person to ask for that. I have no idea. Dang, I was just about to buy the Giants Windbreaker. <laughs> it's so funny because it has literally been listed for over a year. I don't understand. Thomas P. O'Connor Jr. is the Jarhead Entrepreneur. The Jarhead Entrepreneur. Thank you so much. Uh, I was so happy that had been an order by the month. Um, so Connor accepted Tunes Squad shirt. Thanks, Big t Big Tuna. <laughs> uh, going rogue. What's up, Josh? The, the boss walked by. I got to watch this later. Take care, Jeremy. Jeremy, just quit. Just quit your job, man. I'm just kidding. Don't quit your job. But uh, I remember the old days when I had to secretly watch YouTube in the corner of one of my computer screens as my boss. I would have three screens, and my boss was like over here. So I'd always put YouTube on this screen. So it was like the one that was least likely to be seen by him. Uh, Mike. Mike, if you're watching this, my old boss, uh, I like you as a person, but I did not like you as a boss. I, you're you're great, but i I think it's I think it's been it's been a good move for both of us that I'm not working there anymore. Please feel obligated, people. 
Uh, Juan V, how do you refund if a buyer pays too much for shipping? I tried, but it shows as if I had done a partial refund and I lose track of the package. Sold a vintage robot for 450. Customer paid 90 for something. Um, I really think it depends on if you're on eBay managed payments or not, because if you're not, then you can do a partial refund through PayPal and it shouldn't affect any tracking information. But if you have to do a, a if you have to do a lose track of the package, why would you be doing a partial refund before the package shows as delivered is my concern. Like once it's delivered, it wouldn't matter if you lose track of the tracking information, if that's what you're saying. I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Um, I wish eBay would let you split your store into categories. So if somebody's looking for a shirt, they don't have to scroll past hundreds of shoes or something. They do. I'm just too lazy to do that. I thought about hiring a virtual assistant to like categorize everything for me, which would probably be a good move and probably wouldn't even be that expensive to do. But it's just, it's just one of those things I don't keep track of when I'm listing. I probably, I probably should though. Um, Bradley Wood. Oh, darn. Just found out you're doing a live pineapple heart, 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 heart. We have so much fun watching your channel. Corgi. Thank you so much, Bradley. I appreciate all the pineapples and hearts and the Corgi. And thank you for watching. Uh, eBay got you for books, but not Nike or Nintendo. Both of those are on the Vero list. Um, I don't, I don't think I have any fake Nike stuff, not to my knowledge. Um, Nintendo, I do have some third party Nintendo controllers, Nintendo Wii controllers, but I'm not going to list those on eBay because I don't want to deal with Vero. So I'm pretty sure everything I have listed Nike and Nintendo is legit. But if you ever see anything in my store that's not legit, please tell me. I'd much rather hear it from one of, one of you guys than get another friggin' Vero. Forenzo AR 499 Super Chat. Dream Deals is Black Friday's version here in Denver. Because of you and your videos, I'm making more sales and more money. Thank you so much. I love it. That's awesome, man. Just be careful. Make sure you're not, you know, selling anything that's part of the Vero program or anything that you uh, think might be counterfeit. But other than that, happy for you, man. Keep killing it. Uh, we're in South Carolina. Are you roughly? I'm over here near the mountains, a few miles from Walhalla. I'm in Lexington, South Carolina, right? Smack dab in the middle. Um, uh, Allison Frazier, I like watching you, even though you aren't really in the same realm of selling as me. I sell mostly vintage. Allison, thank you so much. Uh, I try to be entertaining for a wide variety of sellers, not just you shoes and golf clubs. <laughs> Stay away from Otterbox. Yep. 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 They have dream deals. How do you know if a product is counterfeit or not? I don't. That's the problem. Uh, you willing to do a channel review? Probably don't want to do a channel review in this video. Just to don't want to get too spread out here. Mike, you are great, but you are a jack wagon. Who is Mike, and what is a jack wagon? I came for the eBay. I stayed for the glorious beard. <laughs> um. Okay. Let me let me just go back to eBay real fast. Oh, somebody sent me another offer for Masker Beauty, 24 karat gold eye mask, all skin types, 15 pairs, new sealed, expires 10, 2020. I listed it for $24. They offer me 18. I'm going to counter offer at 15. Do, 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 do. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, did I get another? I've got that. Okay. I, th I think we're caught up. Um, is Zik Analytics worth it? I have no idea what that is. Uh, Mike is your boss. Mike was my old boss. That. Mike wasn't a bad boss. He's definitely not watching this video right now. But he wasn't a bad boss. But it was just... Uh, I don't know. Was, I'm just a little salty because he like made me do this training the literally the day before I was laid off. He knew I was getting laid off. Like obviously he's my boss. He had to he had to pick two people in the apartment to to get laid off, and he like made me do this like six hour training the day before I was laid off. I'm like, why'd you do that, man? You knew the next day was gonna be my last day. Why'd you make me do all that the day before? Uh, so I don't know. He's that's just rubbed me the wrong way. 
bosses deserve to be fired from time to time. Yeah, eventually. Uh, Powdersville, South Carolina. What's up? Had a company last week reach out and ask me to take an item down. Legit didn't know and apologized and deleted the item. Yeah, that's fine. That's the way it should work. Like, just send me a nice email. Being, hey, do you have any proof this is a real product? Because we invented this and, you know, we're trying to sell it on our platforms to recoup our costs of like the patent work and the the prototype and all that stuff. And we we, we aren't sure how you got a, a, a hold of this legit product. Do you have any proof that it's legit? I'm like, no, I don't know. I found it at an Amazon return store. It's probably fake. My bad. I'll delete the listing. We'll both move on with our lives. That's the way it should be. Why should, why should it be any different than that? Lane, thanks for the IMAS. Lane, thank you for purchasing those. I really appreciate it. You can't sell Otterbox in new condition, only in used. I don't even think you can sell it used. I don't think. I would never sell anything Otterbox. I wouldn't even sell a sticker that was the Otterbox logo because Otterbox is just one of the worst companies when it comes to the Vero program. Literally, they have like teams of lawyers that just search eBay all day long. Mike is a good egg, just a different breed. I, the, the thing that got me, like, obviously, I'm not mad that I got laid off. Like, it, it was a huge upgrade for me. Like, obviously, things have worked out really well. I've been super blessed. The thing that got me was that, like, so I was at my desk working and I just got like the email invite for like an H the email invite said HR update. I'm like, Oh, it's probably just some dumb HR meeting, whatever. And it was at like 10 o'clock. So I left my desk. I left all my stuff on my desk. I went to the meeting and they're like, due to no fault of your own, your position has been eliminated. And it was like me and like 10 other people in the room. One of the other people in the room was the underwriter that sat next to me, Charnay. And when I got in there, I was like, Oh, this, we were both hired about the same time. So I'm like, Oh, this must be like an HR whatever, sign some paperwork or something. And they just laid us all off and they wouldn't let us go back to our desk. I'm like, I have all my stuff there. And they're like, we'll bring it down to you. I'm like, what about all the people I've been working with for two years? I can't say bye to them. And they're like, nope, can't let you go back up there. So like, I've literally never seen any of those people ever again, like it, it, since last August, like people I was really good friends with. And that's just, it, it treats you like a criminal, you know, like you're in trouble or something. And I guess they get it. You don't want to people to, you know, start cussing up a storm and like stealing stuff or breaking stuff. I guess that people are crazy, but um, it was just, it just rubbed me the wrong way. But Josh, would you sell it an otter in a box? Honestly, no, I'd probably keep it for personal use. I've always wanted an otter. Uh, what type of work? I was an insurance underwriter. Was your eBay screen still open on your monitor? <laughs> no, no, that's, it was not. I didn't really check eBay at work. I was, I was uh, just YouTube. I would stay away from Nike there on the Vero program. I, I sell Nike all the time. I've never had problems with Nike. Same thing with North Face. Like North Face is part of the Vero program, but I like Rally Roots. They sell North Face all the time. Um, uh, Amazon does it without you. No, they just able to listen. Amazon does it without you even knowing it. They just disable the listing, but don't suspend your account. That's that's the way to do it. Just take my listings down. Don't suspend me. Years ago, when employees would include mass layoff, I was told not. To, I was told not. Years ago, one of my employees was included in our mass layoff, and I was told not ahead of time. I was not told ahead of time. I was determined by executives few levels above. Um, I would think that, but I texted um, my friend Yvette who sat next to me and she said right after Charnay and I left to go to the meeting, my boss came around and got all of our personal stuff and put it in a box and like took it upstairs. So he knew what was happening because like, it wasn't like, the, like I didn't know I was laid off until like 15 minutes later. So obviously he knew to gather up our stuff and take it up to us. Uh, I saw those Merrells you found in the vid yesterday and drooled. I, I find Merrells pretty often, I would think. Guys, there's 1,200 people here. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, don't use the words shabby chic ever. They will get you. I didn't know that. Shabby chic. See, why don't they tell you this stuff? I don't understand. 
Um, bye for now. Have a great day. Bye, Laura. Thanks for the thanks for watching. Um, there's the store link again, Claudia. Claudia, why can't you find the store link below? It's not linked below. It's linked right there. Um, how did you legally make your business reselling? I'm just a sole proprietor. I don't have, I don't have a, a I'm just, I just do my business as, like, I'm just. I'm just my business. I'm a sole provider. I don't have a business license. I don't have uh, a tax ID number. Um, I just do my business under my name with my social security number, but I'm probably going to change it to an LLC this, this next year coming up. You cannot use Kevlar either. Didn't know that one. Um. <laughs> Rolling with someone says, dang it, Shabby Chic was my drag name in college. <laughs> they don't tell us because they don't have our best interest in mind. That's that's probably true. How do I like managed payments and the final value fees, including taxes? I like managed payments. Uh, I enjoy it. Do I use tax software for my store? I use GoDaddy Bookkeeping. It's a bookkeeping software. Yeah, that's for us. Is there a link to a website to find out if an item is part of the Vero program before listing it? eBay has like a list of the companies that are part of the Vero program on eBay, but it doesn't, it's just like the name of the company and like some weird policies. It doesn't say, it's just, it's really different. Like uh, my friend Drew Profit Monsters on YouTube, he made a video going over like every company that is in the Vero program, um, which was like, I guess like a year ago. So it doesn't include companies that may have been added in the last year. But that's still like a company might be like Scotch, but it's not all Scotch products that are part of Vero. It's just like I don't know Velcro. I don't I don't know. Like it's it's very very confusing. <laughs> uh, Anyone can file a Vero complaint. You don't have to be from the company. Google it. Yeah, I know which that also, sh like if you're gonna follow Vero on something, you need to, you should have, uh, you should have to prove to your, you should have to prove to eBay that you are an employee or executive decision maker of the company that owns the rights. I, sh I couldn't, like the fact that I can go to anybody's listing right now for anything and just like, nope, I would like to report this product because I don't, I don't like this person. And then eBay is just going to take that product down. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah. Rosetta stone. You can't sell Rosetta stone. You shouldn't sell um, beach body P 90 X, all that kind of stuff. Fawn Clayton. I lost my job due to COVID in June after 15 years. They also treated me like I was going to steal everything. Followed me around while I was getting my stuff. Then I came across your videos. Thanks. Yeah. I'm like, they, they didn't even let me go back. I'm like, can I not say bye to everybody? And they're like, nope, sorry. Just got to, they basically like, they didn't walk me all the way to my car, but they walked me out of the building. I'm like, daggum, man. Nash DLP, $3 super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Shipping out a P90X right now. That's another problem with the Vero program is that not every item that should be Vero'd is Vero'd. Sometimes you can sell, I, some, I've sold eight, eight of those books and only one of them was Vero'd. And the, some people can sell P90X and, and ship it out and it's fine and they might not get a Vero. They might get a Vero 30 days after that name is delivered. They might get a Vero when they list it. You know, you, you never know. Like if something is Vero, it should be Vero for everybody all the time, not randomly whenever the company feels like finding it. Yeah. I sold a P90X last week and got Beachbody listed. Yeah, I, I would, it, you can do whatever you want, but if it were me, I would take the listing down and sell it on Mercari. I have, I have a P90X right now listed on Mercari. Probably need to drop the price because it's been listed for like two months and hasn't sold. Idiot here. What is Vero? You're not an idiot. You're just somebody who doesn't know what Vero is. Uh, I believe it stands for Verified rights owner. I think VE is stands for verified. 
and then write like they couldn't just put V R O. They had to add like a Vero to make it like a pronounceable word. But I'm pretty sure it stands for Verified Rights Owner Program or something. Um, it's basically if a company claims that they have the in, that somebody is selling a product that is counterfeit or violates their intellectual property, they can have it removed from from eBay. Josh Costell, I sold about 20 Confederate flag items and a few Rosetta Stone books. Never had a problem. Yeah, probably wouldn't probably wouldn't do that. I sold something medical before and they took it took the listing down but didn't suspend me. Yeah, that's what happened on one of those phone UV lights. Like that's not Vero. They don't suspend you for that stuff. They just take it down. Usually that stuff is caught. Like it really depends on the category. Like if I listed that phone light under electronics, then it would probably be fine. But I, I must have like copied a listing and it was listed under like therapeutic machines or health, 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 something. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's way too complicated. Way too complicated. How long is the suspension? Three days, 72 hours. Verified rights owner policy, Vero. My store name is Sh Sh Shibby Shack. I guess that's Shabby Shibby Chic Shack. Shabby Chic Shack. My niece has nicknamed me Shibby 25 years ago. So it's close, but it's my name and registered. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Look out. They might Vero your name. Uh, I'm just going to remove suspension. Family flips, unbox up. Yeah. We should run for president of eBay. I would not want to be president of eBay. I think that's the problem with like publicly public, ugh, publicly traded companies is that eBay, like if you're if you're the owner of a company and you don't have stockholders to answer to, you can make decisions that are better for the longevity of the company. Like what's the, the decisions that are good in the long run. But once you make your public make your company publicly traded. You have to answer to the stockholders. The stockholders are now the bosses of the company, basically. So if you make decisions for the company that may be better in the long run, like supporting sellers and, and stuff like that, that might be not be so good in the short term because sales might be down. If buyers are new buyers are coming on the eBay and they're experiencing issues and they see that eBay is is supporting sellers more than buyers, then that might knock down profits for that quarter. But overall, it might be might be better. So um, I don't know. I'm not interested in being part of any kind of corporation like that. Laura Miller, three dollar super chat. You make me want to sell hard goods. Laura, you should get into it. They take up more space and storage, and they're harder to ship. But generally, the profit margins are better. Jessica O'Brien, three dollar super chat. Things happen. We live and learn. Stay awesome, Jessica O'Brien. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the kind words. I'm gonna put that on a sign one day. Live and live and live and learn. Stay awesome. Uh, Commonwealth Picker, I'm an eBay stockholder. I'll give them a call for you. I'm going to call, <laughs> I'll call eBay. And when they tell me that they can't lift my suspension, I'm like, do you want me to get Commonwealth Picker on the phone? Because I will. And they're going to say, who's that? I was like, you work at eBay and you don't know who Commonwealth Picker is, Kevin? And you call yourself an eBay employee? <laughs> uh, that'll light a fire under them. Uh, being someone else, unless you know, it's a bit of lawsuits, you just get an F ID number. <sighs> you just look, you just got a sense right now. Let's see, basically, suspend you. Uh, you are lucky those companies don't send you certified lawsuit letters. That is, eBay suspends you. Uh, yeah, you can. Um, somebody messaged me on Instagram the other day and said they listed an Otterbox case, and they like Otterbox lawyers basically sent them a letter saying they had to remove the listing. And I think they had one sold, like they actually sold one and they were asking for like $400 for like, as a repayment for the case that they sold or something. I'm like, that sucks, man. Cause I'm pretty sure if they actually like sue you for money, you have to get a lawyer and like fight them for it. It's just not worth doing it over a $15 phone case, you know? Uh, like the new office look, thanks man. I like it too. I have uh, I still need some work, and also I'm not very good at painting the the top. You probably can't see it, but like the line, 
so we had popcorn ceilings in here. And so like the paint line from like going along the ceiling is really hard to get straight when you're going for like a flat ceiling to the popcorn ceiling. Cause it's hard to get that edge clean. So you can't really tell it there, but it's not very clean. I probably need to put up some like crown molding or something in here to cover it up. Uh, Chad Baker photography, $5 super chat. Uh, you sh you should get an LLC ASAP. It protects all of your personal assets. Also find a good CPA. It can make a big difference on your taxes year end. I have a CPA, um, but I'm probably going to switch to uh, Mark, Mark two, not your dad's CPA this year. I'm talking to him because uh, it'd be cool to have a CPA who's also a reseller just that he can understand my business a little bit better and also trust him. He's a cool guy. Want to support his business. Um, and yeah, I don't really have any significant assets yet, but if things keep going like they're going now for another year, that might build up. So that's why I'm looking at an LLC uh, to protect some personal assets that I don't yet have. Um, the cut and suck when painting. Yeah. So yeah, I'll got, I got a buddy that was recently sued by Otterbox. Like I'm telling you guys, like, you can try to list Otterbox as used or blah, 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 or whatever you want. Or I sold one and I didn't have any issues. Like I'm telling you, you do not want to mess with Otterbox. Like you just don't like they are ruthless. It will literally sue you over selling a used phone case. That would make a good video though. Like I got sued by Otterbox. Maybe that video will make enough money to pay for the lawyer. <laughs> you should have painted the office black as, as Dwight did when Michael thought he was going to corporate. Like, why is my office painted black? <laughs> I said that the other day, like when I finished painting in here, I walked into the room with Haley. I was like, now I, now I can intimidate my subordinates. <laughs> so let me get this straight. eBay will, eBay will turn you into the companies like Otterbox. No, Otterbox hires lawyers to search eBay for people selling their products eBay doesn't care. They just, they just do whatever the companies tell them to do, but they don't report you to anybody. Uh, the college picker had a huge battle with Patagonia a few years ago. I remember that over his website. What's that? Did someone say CPA? Who's also a reseller the flipping accountant? I did. I did say that maybe I'll interview you and Mark and, Pick whoever I like the most. Uh, you can sell Dell, kind of working, sell the stuff. You can counter sue for disrupting your business. You could, you can sue for anything. I don't know if I'd win. I love the office. eBay is afraid to get sued. Is the is it the item or using the name like Otterbox? Um, I don't know why you'd want to use the name Otterbox if it wasn't for selling an Otterbox, but I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Not like you can't have multiple accounts, yeah. I like guess probably a good idea to start a, a separate a separate eBay store at this point. So uh, okay, so I've uh, we've been going for nine ninety an hour and a half. Uh, so I I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. Eleven hundred and seventy nine people watching right now, which is it's crazy, absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep listing stuff. Um, Thank you for all the support on buying everything today. Uh, I'm just going to keep listing stuff uh, or drafting items over the next three days. Uh, maybe finish up decorating my office. We're moved in, move some stuff around the garage. We got our shed in the backyard now. So we have the garage uh, working out. We got a lot of space in there now. I need to get some more shelving units and some more bins. Um, so yeah, it's just, uh, you know, you live and you learn. Just take it on the chin and, uh, like I said, Friday, three days from now, Friday, I'll start listing some more stuff again. I'll probably put out like 80 to 100 listings on Friday. So it's not the end of the world. Just be careful with stuff. Uh, I wish I could tell you what kind of stuff to be careful with, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't, nobody ever knows what, what the Vero, what Vero is, what, what it's going to get Vero next. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.